I am so very excited to be with you this week and the following weeks uh, to offer you these free yoga practices, very short yoga practices, so you can practice them anytime, anywhere. So as you can see, this is actually my home studio slash office slash uh, guest room, actually. Um, because this is supposed to be a home practice. So I just want to show you that you don't need any fancy schmancy yoga equipment to have an efficient practice. Efficient, of course, being what you make of it. So this is me then, and this is your practice. And this week, actually, our accompanying Hindu god is a goddess, and it's Kalima. Kali is a goddess that is very dear to my heart. I like her fierceness, her courage, her bravery, and she's often um, seen as the goddess of destruction, so kind of a badass image. But the goddess of destruction to make way, to make space for new things to happen, so it's really about getting rid of the old to make way and to make room for the new. So what we're going to do today is a very simple and short practice to get rid of a little bit of stress, of a little bit of tension, and also to be able to let the energy flow in the body. So first, let's take a comfortable seated position. So of course, I'm on my yoga mat, I have a yoga mat. If you don't have any, any mats whatsoever, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, we're not going to move a lot today anyway, but um, you want to sit comfortably, that's the most, uh, the most important thing right now, and on a non-slippery surface. So it doesn't have to be a mat, it can be a rug, or anything that, in, that is not slippery and you're not going to fall over. Anyway, let's now take a comfortable seated position. So it could be cross-legged, anything that suits you. If you want to prop yourself up, you can have a cushion underneath your lovely buttocks. Uh, well, as long as you're feeling comfortable, sit tall, now roll your shoulders down the back and close your eyes for a moment. And let's take a moment here just to observe what is going on in your body, to observe the natural flow of your breathing. Stay deep inhale and deep exhale. And let's sit for a moment, just noticing what is going on, becoming present to what is, without trying to change anything, without judging anything. So just so you know, I always start my classes with this, just a moment to center and ground ourselves. Slowly open your eyes, and let's start stretching our shoulders a little bit. We're just going to roll your shoulders down the back. So on the next inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, back and down. Again, inhale up. Exhale, back and down. So just a few times like this, starting to linking movement and breath. And then change directions now. Let's go forward and down. Inhale up. Forward and down, you can leave your hands on your thighs, let your head, heads dangle. Ah, now that feels good already, right? <laughs> on your next inhale, lift your right hand up. Exhale, bring your right hand on your left ear and bring the right ear next to the right shoulder. Now slide your shoulders down the back as you pushing the ear closer. And that left shoulder is wanting to go high up as well and become an earring. So don't let it. Shoulders far from the ear and breathe. On the next inhale, come back to center. Hand up. Exhale, release. Now other side, inhale. Left hand up to the sky. Exhale. Hands on the ear, and again, bringing the left ear close to the left shoulder, letting the shoulders drop, and deep, deep breathing here. On 
inhale, long exhales. One more inhalation, and exhale. Inhale, head to center, hand up, exhale, release. Now you're going to slide your left hand to the side. Inhale, lift your right hand up, and you can bring your forearm down, or you can stay on your hand as long as you stay put and sit and two buttocks on the ground. And reach, 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 reach to the sides. Create some space in the waist, in the ribs. So you go as far as your body can. You, know, you don't have to force anything. I mean, feeling a stretch is okay. Feeling pain is not okay. Inhale, come back up and switch sides. Shoulders down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Ah, feeling a bit lighter in the shoulder, in the chest, in the upper body. And for now, this is it with movement really, but we're going to be breathing. We are going to do alternate nostril breathing called Nadi Shodhana. So what this means is really a purification of the Nadis, which are channels of energy running through the body. So basically what we want to do is get rid of the obstacles to make way for energy to flow. So you've got to take your right hand and keep the thumb and ring finger up. So the pinky will come as well. And fold the index fingers and the middle finger in the hand. So like this. So it's almost like, hey, have you met all sign? Almost. Thumb up, ring finger up. And we are going to block one nostril, then the other, and breathe through one nostril, then the other. So I really advise you to close your eyes so you can focus on your breathing on your body. So let first, let me show you how this works. First, we're going to block the right nostril with the thumb. Exhale through the left nostril. Inhale through the left. All the way down to your belly. Really deepen the breath here. Then block the left nostril. Exhale through the right. Inhale right. Look, exhale left. And that is one cycle. Start with the left and with the left. Okay, now let's do it together. Block the right nostril. Exhale through the left. Inhale left. Look, exhale right. Inhale right. Block, exhale left. Inhale left. Block, exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Now let's keep going to your own rhythm. You're on breathing. Just be aware of your flow of, breath, of breathing. And each time you exhale, make sure you empty everything out. Feel the little pause between the exhale and the next inhale. On the each inhale, feel the lungs, feel the belly. On each exhale, feel the tensions releasing and let go of what you don't need right now. So the next time you're exhaling through the left nostril, release the right hand on your knees, on your thigh, 
And just take a few cycles here, a few cycles of natural breathing. Again, just becoming aware of your natural flow of breathing. And maybe, maybe, you might notice a difference between now and the beginning of the practice. Maybe you're not seeing anything, and that's okay. Again, becoming present to what you're feeling right now. What your sensations are. Now you can stay here in the seated position for another few minutes or you can lie down on your back for a little bit of relaxation, shavasana, whatever calls to you right now. Namaste. Oh well.